Analysis of Variance, or ANOVA Statistical Tool, using Google Sheets, Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack. Let's start with a set of quantitative data in our Google Drive. Here, we have in spreadsheets, the study hours of grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12 students. We would like to determine if there is a significant difference between these three sets of population. Of course, the statistical tool for that is the ANOVA. To do ANOVA in Google Sheets, we will have to install an add-on application extension called the Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack. At the menu bar, click Extensions. Then select Add-ons. Then select Get Add-ons. We will then be directed to the Google Workplace Marketplace pop-up window. On the search bar, let's type Excel Miner. Then click the search icon. The search results would show the link of the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Click on it. Next click Install. Then click Continue. And finally click Done. To close the dialog box, just click X at the upper right corner. Now, we are ready to do statistical analysis using Google Sheets. Click on Extensions. Next select Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack. Then click Start. What will appear on the rightmost side is the list of all the available statistical tools, including the ANOVA. What we need to click here is the ANOVA single factor. This is the one-way ANOVA. Next, Simply highlight the entire group of cells with our data. In this case, it's from A1 to C8. Then, click on the input range box. Next, make sure to click the tick box labels in first row. Also, note that the alpha value is 0.05 by default. We want that so just leave it as is. Next, select a cell on the right of our data. In this case, it's E2. Then, click on the output range box. Then, click OK. Notice, that the output result of ANOVA, may be seen generated where we want it to be. Now, let's get our attention on the p-value result. In this case, the p-value is 0.2023059353, or simply, 0.202. Comparing. This p-value of 0.202 is greater than 0.05. Therefore, we can conclude that the study hours of grade 10, 11, and 12 are not significantly different. Let's have another example. Here, 
We have the salaries of employees from three different departments. From science, engineering, and marketing. We want to determine if there is a significant difference between the three sets of population. Again, click on extensions. Next, select Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack, then click Start. What will again appear on the rightmost side is the list of all the available statistical tools, including the ANOVA. Let's click on the ANOVA single factor. Next, simply highlight the entire group of cells with our data. In this case, it's from A1 to C10. Then, click on the input range box. Again, make sure to click the tick box labels in first row. The alpha value still by default is 0.05. Leave it as is. Next, select a cell on the right of our data. In this case, it's E2. Then click on the output range box. Next, click OK. The ANOVA result may be seen generated. Again, let's get our attention on the p-value result. In this case, the p-value is 0.0001626785.4, or simply 0.000163. Comparing, this p-value of 0.000163 is less than 0.05. Therefore, we can conclude that there is a significant difference between the salaries of employees from the science, engineering, and marketing departments.